Last summer I posted a video showing a new method for attaching the Swerfer swing between two sturdy tree trunks. Nine months later my Swerfer installation videos have been viewed over 10,000 times and I've installed inter-tree Swerfers all across the state of North Carolina and as far away as Honduras in Central America. I've made some small changes to the installation process that are shown in this video. The ideal distance between the two trees for an inter-tree swerfer is 28 to 40 feet. Less than 28 feet and there's not enough clearance for the arc of the swerfer. More than 40 feet and even with a tensioned cable there's too much sag in the swing. Needless to say, the trees have to be free of decay, have healthy crown and roots, and they need to be at least 48 inches in circumference at chest height. I use 5 16 inch extra high strength 7 strand galvanized cable. You can cut EHS with a hacksaw but it takes a long time. A reciprocating saw isn't much better. I found the best tool for the job is an angle grinder. You'll also need to cut two 8 to 12 inch lengths of galvanized 5 16 inch chain. I highly recommend the Swerf Grip sticker. The grip is a little pricey at $25, but it makes the swing a lot safer because the board by itself is really slick. For attaching the Swerfer to the cable, you'll need four cable clamps plus the two chain leaders you cut previously, as well as two quick links. First slide a 5 16 cable clamp onto the cable, followed by one of the chains, then two more clamps, then the second chain, and finally the fourth cable clamp. At the bottom of each chain leader you'll place a 5 16 inch stainless steel quick link. The swerfer ropes will be doubled over and you'll tie a figure eight on a bite in the middle of each rope. That figure eight on a bite will get attached to the quick link on the end of each chain leader. Be sure there are no twists in the rope and then attach the two sets of handles to the ropes as shown here. I like having two sets of handles so that one can be positioned down low when the swerfer is being used as a traditional swing where you're seated on the board. The upper handles are going to be used when the person is standing and swerfing. Now to climb the first tree.
It's a good idea to remove any dead wood in the trees so it doesn't get shaken down when people are using the swing. For this particular swing, the tree trunks are 38 feet apart. That distance defines how high the swerfer cable can be. A good rule of thumb is that the cable shouldn't be any higher than the two trunks are apart. So in this case, we're going to put the cable at 36 feet. A good battery operated drill can sometimes make it through a trunk, but I really enjoy having this Tanaka gas powered drill for easily going through trunks. Steel also makes a similar gas powered drill. The drill bit is a half inch carbide tipped ship auger bit. The cable is only 5 16 inch in diameter, so I use a half inch hollow aluminum rod to take up the extra space in the hole and to protect the tree trunk from abrasion from the cable. If you're wondering why I don't just use a smaller drill bit, it's because long carbide tipped ship auger bits aren't made in diameters less than half inch. I use two kinds of cable stops to hold the cable. This one is called a rig guy wire stop. It requires that you untwist the ends of the cable to insert a conical stopper. Whatever kind of stop you use, be sure that you have a heavy duty washer between the trunk and the cable stop to protect the tree. The height of the hole in the second tree is going to be 36 feet high, just like on the first tree. On this side I'm using a wedge grip cable stop made by preformed line products. It's a little bit more expensive but it's much easier to install than the rig guy wire stop. For tensioning the cable I use a Mazdam rope puller. The tool for grabbing the cable is called a Klein Havens Grip. You can also use something called a Chicago Grip, but it's more expensive. It's important that the swerfer be suspended at the midpoint of the cable 
So I measure between the two trunks and, that put, and then put something visible on the ground at the midpoint. Then I climb up on both ropes and position myself above the midpoint. That allows me to move the chain leaders if needed and then tighten the cable clamps on either side of the chain. The distance between the two chain leaders should be three feet. I don't have any footage of this particular Swerfer in action because the family eagerly came out just as I was descending to give it a try, but here are some clips of other inter-tree Swerfers I've installed.